Hi everyone, I'm Any New Province, and I just finished up a league with Mono Green Infect. It feels really good to have your opponent start at half their life total. You can put poison counters on your opponent in whatever match you want by clicking on the timestamp in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the league. Uh, yeah, no lands, can't keep. Well, Maul. Uh, yeah, I think this is a real fast kill, right? Six, one, four, eight... Yeah, this is this is pretty sweet. I like this. <laughs> What's up, Death by Manga? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep. Um, do I want to keep a land? Because if I go turn one, Glistener Elf, turn two, go land, Seal of Strength, Ground Swell. I don't think I want another land. I think I want another. I want another Pump Spell. So we'll bottom, play Glistener Elf, and pass. See if my opponent can do it. Ah, dang it, is this Delver? Inconceivable. It really is. Blew my mind. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go land. We're going to try to win next turn. So I'm going to go land... Groundswell. Well, I guess we don't have to Groundswell yet. We can play out Augur and see if my opponent wants to block it. I don't just have a wind here, right? I'm just making sure. <laughs> no problem, Jess Ness. Oh man, bummer on the lags. Hey man, anytime. Those popper players, man, need the love. And we're 100% going to groundswell here, so hopefully our opponent doesn't have like a vapor snag or something like that. Groundswell? Five? Five, 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 five. Dang it! <laughs> okay. They had the Vapor Snag. I did that because I couldn't get through it somehow. Oh my god, do they have Spell Stutter Sprite too? Please! Okay, so we're going to play around Spell Stutter here. We're going to play Icar Claw Mirror. Now they could have Hard Counter, and if they do, <laughs> we're pretty much dead, but it is what it is. Delver's going to have it 12 times out of 12. And now we go to play into Spell Stutter Sprite. At least we have two Infect creatures this time, so if they do Spell Stutter, sure. We can play another one. Maybe they'll have Days. Oh my god, don't have Days. Please. <laughs> Please no Days. Oh my god. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> My body is just in pain right now. Sure. <laughs> yep. This is punishment for trying to fabricate league results. Oh my god, guys. That was so bad. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So we gotta draw... Well, we drew more infect creatures. <laughs> I think we are going to lose. Watch this. Another days. Imagine. <laughs> Today is easily the best day of my life. <laughs> yep. 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 Mono counter Delver. Coming through. They're not going to shuffle off their ponders. So they got something good. Ah, uh, we draw mutagenic growth. <laughs> oh, well, they, like, you know it's coming when it's coming. I don't think, like, does Seal of Strength matter? Could we kill them from 20 with a Llanowar Auker? I guess I might as well play it here. I don't know if what they're holding up two blue mana for, but... Another counterspell out of their hand means... Less things that they can potentially... Use later. Yep. We <laughs> should just try to forget about this game. I'm just going to try to forget about my life. <sighs> Absolutely. Yes. Please bring ice cream treats. Would, <laughs> would appreciate. Would greatly appreciate the ice cream. <laughs> 
That was so foolish, man. That was this game has been absolutely absolutely ridiculous. Yep. Have you guys ever seen a human being like tilt into another dimension? <laughs> I think I think this is one of the gut shot matchups. That could be that could be one of the gut shot matchups. Yeah, we're dead after this turn. Probably should just scoop. How much damage do I have in hand? We pump this plant token. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen damage. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> what if? What if, guys? What if? Oh, dang it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 13, 16. Not quite. All right. <laughs> okay, that was good. Um, So I'll bring in some gut shots. Over... Hmm. I think just like one mana spells aren't very good here. But I don't want to, like, take out mutagenic growth. So maybe I'll take out seals because they don't give trample. I think seal is, like, our weakest pump spell. And, like, one rot, rot wolf. Even though this does, like, attack into fairies repeatedly. And draws cards. I don't really know. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> brutal. Okay. Uh, okay, turn one Glistener Elf. That's one way to beat Daze. <laughs> and we have a Gut Shot for their Fairy. Just going to be turning off auto yields repeatedly for the rest of my life. So, you know. Play Glistener Elf. Pass the turn. I don't think I get to resolve anything, honestly. <laughs> Let's see where Bobby found dead's gonna put their cards. This deck can win on turn two sometimes. It's pretty rad. I wonder if I should play around days. Two cards on bottom. Alright. Means we gotta find a vines before it matters. Mutagenic growth. Okay. Mmm. I think we do Mutagenic Growth here and Colony Garden, if possible. Colony Garden doesn't really matter. I think Icarus and Mirror does a lot more. I also feel like they're holding up days, and this Gut Shot can stop the Spell Stutter that might get this. Um, so I'm going to get in. I am going to Mutagenic Growth. I'll pay life for it so that they can't daze us. Go through the blocks, Mutagenic Growth, pay life. Yeah, just playing around days for the rest of my life. Imagine snapback. Taste it. <laughs> They're going to gut shot Glistener Elf. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So do you have the days? Oh, they didn't have days. We did it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Okay, Colony Garden. I'd rather lose to uh, to sideboard cards than uh, than misplays, though. <laughs> uh, no, Rory's not. My door is locked, though. <laughs> Just in case, you know, there might be some riffraff out there trying to get trying to get wise. Uh, all right, let's play Blight Mamba. Playing around everything but hard counter here. Good. <laughs> play a land, pass the turn. Three cards in my opponent's hand. We just got to draw loads more infect creatures. Let's see what this is. Gush. All right. Scattered more blue mana. Spire Golem mana. Up. Spire Golem costs six, right? I think. Is that the is that the idea? Oh, so they can't. I don't know. Can't remember. Spire Golem coming down. 
Just hard casting the old ninja boy. You got it. Nice. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Hold up, because I don't know how long I'm going to be. <laughs> Probably not that long if games go like this. <laughs> Here comes Ninja. All right, we're going to try to trade a mutagenic growth with a Ninja. You guys ready? You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> Do you have another gut shot opponent? <laughs> nice. Okay, sure. Vapor snag, and then passes the turn. What do we draw? Land. Cool. Well, guys, <laughs> if they pay enough life, we can kill with plant damage. You're right, though. Get enough Cataxian probes and gut shots in there. I think it probably doesn't matter at this point. Two cards on top with Preordain, so I'm going to get to see both of those here. The Bodados. I can't imagine their hand isn't just like tons of Deprives and stuff like that. What's this? Very Miscreant. Okay. And we draw Blight Mamba. So we can sneak this Blight Mamba through for what that's worth. Nothing to our opponent. Here comes another Vapor Snag, possibly. It can block this Ninja for a while. <laughs> Here comes Spell Stutter. I'm going to kill this. If they, if they get another Ninja down, we're in a lot of trouble. I would like this to kill a Spell Stutter Sprite, but they know about it, so... Yeah, here comes another ninja. Yep. Mm hmm And we are at 11. Opponent has four cards in hand. Plays a Delver, passes it to us. Apostle's Blessing. That doesn't do anything here, so we'll pass. I don't know how we build up a reasonable way to win this game, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out for sure. Definitely not having Delver flip on a spell pierce. <laughs> yep, more Delvers come down, another fairy. Spell pierce unknown in my opponent's hand. They're gonna attack for three in the air, not risking any shenanigans on my part. Our turn. We draw a land. Good. Pass the turn. I think I'm like tilting playing lands now, but I'm still into it. <laughs> Does the other Delver flip? Nice. We're dead. Good night, Delver. Ah, we got a redraw. We have Edict Fodder. We've got some pump spells. We have a Rot Wolf, which we'll probably never cast. But I think we got to keep this. 19 land deck. We got a redraw. We'll see what our opponent's up to straight away. Just be compulsively turning off those auto yields all night. <laughs> Alright, so let's start it off with a get probe. Paying life. Um gotta get my snipper going, guys. Snip time. Alright, so we will take a quick snippetus. Alright. Had a good enough look. Play Colony Garden. Pass the turn. No land, which is notable. We will have to commit Lanawar Augers for the next few turns. <laughs> okay, okay, I will. I'll keep you keep you in the loop. Ah, there's a Glistener Elf. Okay. That's a start. Although Lanawar Augers are the slowest pump spells on the planet. So we're going to have to win this game probably with this Glistener Elf and Lanawar Augers. And really, I don't even know if it's worth casting them until I find another land to hold up vines. Yep. Opponent's going to pass. No Galvanic Blasts. Sure. So I actually don't know if I'm going to commit Lanawar Augur here, especially where we don't... Like, we can't protect Glistener Elf if we do. And I think that's going to be important. Like, I guess we could play Lanawar Augur here, get the removal out of their hand, and hopefully draw a land to commit a Blight Mamba eventually. 
But I also don't believe I'm going to win just sitting around waiting for a land either. So I think we got to force him to have it. Four cards in hand. Hopefully, few of those cards are Galvanic Blasts. And uh, yeah. Vines of the Basswood doesn't just win us the game next turn. So I think we have to... I think we have to wait. We can't win next turn, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Even if we draw a land. I will. I will keep you in the loop. There will be some some pleading for ice cream at some point, especially if the losing continues. All right, our turn. We're not going to sack Augur. We don't find a land, but we do find a mutagenic growth. That's interesting. Uh, we'll play another Augur and just hope they don't find a removal spell, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Pass the turn, and I think we're going to go for it next turn, especially where we'll be able to have Apostle's Blessing. Like, we'll be able to have Vines up. we just got a lot of stuff going on. And I think I will Apostle's Blessing, considering their interaction is going to be red, and we're going to get Trample anyway. Come on. Don't have it. Don't. <laughs> Don't have it, opponent. No having. Prismatic Lens, okay. Yep, just a 4-4. We are going to have an enormous Glistener Elf with Trample. Oh, I hope they don't find it. Don't find it. <laughs> we could also give this protection from artifacts. Like, if they tap out, then I'm totally okay with giving it pro artifacts. Because it'll be 6... Yeah, well, I think we have... Do we have lethal? It's pro artifacts. 6, 7, 8, 9? No, we don't. They filter for red. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it only would have been nine. And if we don't find a land, we're going to be out of this pretty quick. Tap land is not ideal, but it is a land nonetheless. So we'll pass. Now we kind of want another one drop infect creature. Like we want another Glistener Elf. We will soon die to four fours, though. Or just Atogs. Opponent Thought Casts. Fido Burst is a real cool card. I know that uh, uh, Popperganda is a big Fido Burst fan. Bunch of four fours. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grace Synapse. I think I'm going to need it. We're going to go ahead and take four here. Just because I think we're going to need like two turns to win this game. So we're going to we're going to play like we're going to win in two turns. Which means making sure this Icar Claw doesn't Icar Claw Mirror doesn't die somehow. Oh, well, there's Atog, so that means we probably don't have two turns. <laughs> um, because I think we have to leave up vines for battle rage plus block this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So we're just we're dead to fling anyway. So I think we we gotta play Icar Claw Mirror and hope they don't have fling. Would be ideal. And my internet's bugging out. Perfect. <laughs> All right, hang in there, gang. Hang in there. Internet trubs. Should be good now. Sorry about that. All right, upkeep, not pumping anything. Glistener Elf. Okay, well, we can protect a Glistener Elf. So play Glistener Elf. Vines up. I can Vines it, but they can win just with combat damage. So we'll leave Vines up to stop team or battle rage like we can block it with a plant but uh if they have like eight nine ten they can they can they have us within range of a lot of spells here like i think we have to block with two creatures because if we don't block frogmite then or if we don't block mirror and fort yeah so we have to we have to block frogmite as well so we'll block frogmite with lanamar auger all right, opponent not attacking with Atog. Okay. Fair enough, opponent. They are going to attack with Atog. Okay, so we'll go to blocks. we got to block like this and block like this. So we'll only take eight. We're not dead to Galvanic Blast here. So this is how we're going to block. We'll see what our opponent thinks of that. Turning off the auto yields. They're just going to let it go. All right. Oh, guys. <laughs> we might have them. Okay. Come on, no fling. No fling, opponent, please. 
<laughs> my life, my whole life. Ah, frig. <laughs> Vines could keep them off everything but um, fling, which is definitely what they're doing here. Yep. And there it goes, straight to our face. <laughs> All right. So nature's claims and confrontations are going to come in. I think that is a good strategy. We're going to take out the seals and probably the rot wolves i think they're too slow and we'll submit like that yeah it can keep us off team or battle rage but man i think i know what's causing Ooh, guys this is fast okay so we go turn one glistener elf turn two ranker groundswell and then we have vines to try to finish them off <sighs> okay <laughs> Yep, hopefully our opponent doesn't have the nuts. The Knight of the Nuts opponents. So we're going to have to get the nuts a few times to get them back. Come on, no turn one Galvanic Blast. And I think I'm actually just going to Groundswell next turn and leave up Vines. Because I think it represents the same amount of damage. And then we'll be able to Vines Ranker on the next turn. Whoa, thank you very, very much for the sub plane, Brad. I appreciate that, man. Welcome back. How you doing? I know, matching lands. They almost are. I have one land that isn't matching, and I have it in my hand right now because I only have so many full arts. Um, I don't think playing Blight Mamba here is the way to go, so I'm going to go... Hey, Shades, what's up, man? <laughs> well, yeah, we're having a whelp kind of night right now, so we're going to play a forest, go to combat. We'll ground swell this turn. Yep, go through to blocks. Ground swell. Get swole. Opponent goes to five. In fact, damage. And we can get him next turn, I think. We're going to be able to give our Glistener Elf Trample, and we have Vines back up. So if they don't have Galvanic Blast here, and especially if they tap all their mana, I think we got it. You almost didn't notice the one mismatched land. Well. Oh, yeah, you can definitely Amazon Prime sub. Come on in. Another Vines would be ideal here. Nice! Thank you very much for the sub, Owl Candy. Let's see if they have the Gataxian, or let's see if they have the uh, the Galvanic Blast. They do have the Galvanic Blast, plus Atog, plus a couple of Thought Casts aside. Um, all right, knowing about Galvanic, Galvanic Blast is definitely important. Um, if that's the case, hmm. So if that's the case, I don't I don't really know. <laughs> thank you for the sub, Al. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. What do you guys think? So this this turn's weird. Like there's a lot of stuff that could happen this turn. Um I could go like I don't know. I could go Ranker Glistener Elf. If we draw the Galvanic Blast there, then we can vines to win. But if we rank her, we can't commit Blight Mamba and leave Vines up for protection. We're definitely done looking at their hand. Let's see what we draw. Land. Uh... Lead on Ranker. I don't think they're going to blast in response. Because I don't. it doesn't look like we're going to attack into this Frogmite if they do. I kind of think it's actually Blight Mamba here because we can put Ranker on it next turn and regenerate it. We could like put Ranker on it this turn, I guess, but that doesn't really. <laughs> Gets the Galvanic Blast out of their hand. Actually, so I think we're actually going to... Let's Ranker up Glistener Elf and then we'll attack. No, that doesn't make sense either. They might Galvanic Blast here. If we attack, we can't play Blight Mamba. So I think we just have to pass and see what my opponent's next turn looks like. They're going to get to cast a lot of thought casts. <laughs> um, and we can't just trade with Frogmite, play Blight Mamba. Like, we have to leave up Vines here. So we're going to... We're going to pass. And then next turn we can commit Blight Mamba and leave up protection from Galvanic Blast. 
Glistener Elf looking pretty anemic <laughs> against Galvanic Blast. Well, I don't, I don't know about attacking. Like attacking, this would die, and then our next best bet is, uh, and then we play like Blight Mamba or whatever. I guess if we did attack there, we could play Mamba with regeneration back up on the following turn, and then we put them to six infect. Ooh, and they have the red mana now. Fabulous. Thoughtcast, Blast, Atog, and Vault. All cards my opponent has. They can't Vault, or they can't Thoughtcast again if they want to leave up Galvanic Blast, I guess. Or they can crack this for blue, I suppose. All right, opponent's just going to pass. You got it. We draw Mutagenic Growth. Okay. Um, all right, so that's going to allow us to attack with our Glistener Elf. So play a land, go to combat, attack with Glistener Elf, and then on blocks we will Mutagenic Growth it to try to save it from the Frogmite. Yep, so we'll Mutagenic Growth. And if this forces the Galvanic Blast, then we have Vines. Although they could have drawn another Galvanic Blast, I guess, or they can draw another Galvanic Blast, but if they have it, then we're just... That's just bad luck. All right, cast with Kicker. Targeting Glistener Elf. Come on. No second Vines. <laughs> or no second Galvanic Blast. Opponent! <laughs> Don't. Stop. <laughs> Please. I can't. Ah! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Yep. All right. They didn't have that second Galvanic Blast, so we're going to have to... <laughs> ah, heck. Thoughtcast, Vault of Whispers, and Atog in our opponent's hand. Splendid. A whole bunch of stuff I don't know about in their hand now. <laughs> Opponent just casually cast three thought casts. Storm count is two. <laughs> sure. All right. Yep. Here comes Frogmite. We're at 14. And we draw vines. Oh my god, guys. We were so close. We were so close. <laughs> I could taste it. <laughs> I guess knowing that they have Electricery in their deck kind of changes my opinion on things a little bit, but still. Uh, they have Atog in hand. They're leaving up a jillion mana for something. Or they're leaving up red mana, I think, is the idea. There's Prismatic Lens. So now I think they'll commit the Atog. And uh, yeah, it's probably pretty close to lights out here. Yep. What do we draw? Glistener Elf. All right. Play Glistener Elf. Play Ranker on the Glistener Elf. And 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This Glistener Elf has to block this Atog next turn, <laughs> which is pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. Pass it back to you, opponent. Which, it kind of only leaves them open to the uh, Teamer Battle Rage kill, and then this will die. Yeah, if we win if we win somehow, it'll be tough. It's definitely going to be a tough loss. <laughs> and I'm debating whether I should, like, kick Vines on this, even to just force them to, uh, you know, sacrifice more artifacts than they may have to otherwise. So we'll go to blocks. We'll block Atog. Four cards in my opponent's hand. They have to sack two artifacts to save it. No, it doesn't save it. It just dies because of the block here. What have you got, opponent? Yep. Don't care. Watch, they have counter magic for the vines. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. This will kill Atog. We get back our vines. They only have a frogmite and 
incidentally four cards in hand <laughs> at the end of turn. But it is what it is. I guess Fling will still kill us. Gear Seeker Serpent. Oh, Fling. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> We don't have any targeted removal, and we didn't kill them fast enough, so that's how it goes, guys. Flingfinity takes it. What if they don't have it? What if they, like, misclick? <laughs> Deal 10 to 8 dog. And fling. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. In fact, got a couple Glistener Elves. We got a second land drop. I'm going to keep. Vines in hand for protection purposes. Hopefully our opponent isn't main deck electricery deck. You're gonna jump into the league soon. <laughs> Maverick girl, come get your free ticks. I don't I don't mind I don't mind fire and ticks your way. Especially not with elves or especially not with uh infect. And you're gonna get to see the elves match up right away. Alright, so we play Call in the Garden Seal of Strength. We can have eight non-trampling infect damage next turn which is irrelevant so we'll play colony garden for when it matters if it does i think this is stompy and we'll play another glistener elf pass a turn yeah this is definitely stompy which is the better vines deck i think blight mom is actually okay here those defensive vines though <laughs> here they come Trying to trade vines with stompy creatures. Here comes Nettle Sentinel. We will 100% take two. Although they could be trying to get down a Scargan Pit Skulk here. Which could be relevant. But I think... Like, we're not trading it with two Glistener Elves, are we? Nah. <laughs> Mutagenic Growth would be sweet there, but we don't have it. And here comes Scargan Pit Skulk. Oh, a Solana Ledgewalker. Okay, that's not too big of a deal. I guess that does give this Vigilance, but we can try to blow him out with a Vines ear next turn. <laughs> Come on, Ranker. Ranker would be sweet, because then we can play Seal of Strength. Augur. Okay. All right, well, I think we just play... Lanawar Augur, we play Seal of Strength, and then we go all in next turn and try to win the game. I don't think we try to force trades or anything here. That's just kind of stupid, especially where they won't have Trample. All right, guys, we're going to have Kicked Vines, plus 6, plus 6, and Trample. <laughs> like, plus 10, plus 10, and Trample. So hopefully that's enough. The creature we give Trample is going to have to be the one we go all in on, unfortunately. Let's see what our opponent's got. Elephant Guide. Pretty good. I kind of hope they put it on Solana Ledgewalker here. But it looks like they are going to leave back two blockers. Which is pretty unfortunate. Okay, there's Elephant Guide. Yep. So that will now be a 4 4 Ledge Walker. Which will be blocking whatever creature we target with. Oh, they're going to attack! Oh! Is that so? Well, opponent. I've got news for you. So we're going to Sack Augur, pump up Glistener Elf. Yep. I guess they could have, like, Mutagenic Growth or something. <laughs> Play a land. Go to combat. Swing with everything but the plant token. Come on, opponent. Opponent is feeling frisky. All right, so we will seal of strength our... Okay, so one, two, three, so seven. We'll get through for five. Yeah, this is lethal. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter which one we pump up. One, two, and then four plus eight. So I think we will pump up the one that isn't blocked just in case there's some shenanigans, shenanigans happening. And kick vines. Yeah, exactly. So we can even play around their mutagenic growth. We can't play around two mutagenic growths. I think that's lethal infect damage, guys. Is that lethal infect damage? I think it is. 
That's 10 infect damage, right? Looks like it to me. Game? Game. <laughs> I think this is definitely the epic confrontation matchup. This could be the... Uh... Uh, no, I think Fog is for removal decks. Or sorry, not removal decks, for combo decks. Um, yeah, so that's how that's going to go. I think Rot Wolf would actually be kind of okay. Um, but yeah, Epic Confrontation definitely comes in. Apostle's Blessing is probably pretty relevant. Um, I think we're going to go down the seals again. Like one seal... Maybe the hunger, because stuff isn't going... Like, stuff will die in combat, but we won't need it instant speed as often. So I'm going to take out the hunger as well. Although, I guess when this does come up... No, I'm going to take it out. I'm okay with having more consistent epic confrontations then. Hoping for a singleton hunger. So I'm going to go like that. A couple of epic confrontations in. See if that does it for us. Hope we're just faster, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lobert, I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're here. Our opponents have been having it all. <laughs> tonight oh yeah that is that is really sweet actually so turn one glistener elf turn two blight a mamba and i'm okay playing a tap land after playing a turn two blight mamba because we can regenerate it good times will be had by all opponents creatures will be getting minus one counters they'll laugh i'll laugh the rot wolf will laugh i'll burn this deck into the ground <laughs> i don't like them having turn one evasive creature but it is what it is. See if our opponent is on a gut shot deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heckin' lifelink. Are they stuck on one mana? Heckin' ranker lifelink. Attack. Do it. Yes, opponent. What if we killed him right here? Wouldn't you feel like a dummy? A million Blight Mambas. So we'll play Blight Mamba. We'll go to combat. We'll attack. And then we're just going to be playing Blight Mambas forever. Not winning with plants. <laughs> Lifelink too strong. <laughs> Our opponent getting stuck on lands. No, their mana's going to be okay now. So that's cool. And this mana will be left up to regenerate Blight Mamba next turn. I guess I'll trade. I'll trade with a Queer Ranger. I'm not above it. I, ah, dang it. <laughs> There's Vault Scourge, yep. Kind of expecting that. It kind of feels like... Bl Ooh, that's an interesting draw. All right, so let's play... Tranquil Thicket. Go to combat, we'll attack. We're, we're in kind of a precarious situation here. But we might be able to trade with like literally their entire board here, so or whatever their blockers are. They might also might just not block. We'll play another Blight Mamba. Yep, they're gonna untap Vault Scourge, sure. And what will Vault Scourge block? The Glistener Elf. Okay. All right. So we are gonna kill. I think we'll just regenerate. Actually, I don't know if we really want to kill Nettle Sentinel here. I could get this pro green, but I think Apostle's Blessing is going to be important on a combo turn, so I'm just okay doing it this way, trading with the Vault Scourge, and playing another Blight Mamba. I think they're just more important. Put our opponent to two, in fact. Play another Blight Mamba. Pretty happy to not have Evasion on my opponent's side, and now Mutagenic Growth can represent... A way we can trade a Blight Mambo with like a Nettle Sentinel or something. But we're getting close enough to winning too that I almost don't want to do that. If they're going to be attacking all out all game, then... Dang it, more 2-2s. Two and I think we can expect a Ranker here. So this is an interesting kind of quandary. Going back to Zero Lands and trading our Vault Scourge... Yeah, <laughs> I guess they've got the uh, they got the Quirion Ranger here. I'm trying to figure out whether I'm supposed to trade this Mutagenic Growth with this Nettle Sentinel. I think I am. So I'll go to blocks. We'll block Nettle Sentinel. I think we're actually the control deck. I'm the one that brought in the <laughs> that brought in the epic confrontations. So I think I'm the control deck. All right, opponent's gonna pass. Cool. Our turn. 
vines, eh? That's interesting, but they're not at a low enough life total where I really want to do that. But I think, I think I'm still going to attack with both, and if they don't block, we'll play Rot Wolf. And I'm okay trading Rot Wolf with a Snoppy Creature. They're not going to block. One, two, six. Put them to eight infect damage. No. So we'll get in like that. Yeah, Vines to stop Rancor could be okay. Yeah, and maybe not that, maybe not that controlling. So we'll play Rot Wolf, and then I think next turn, just where we have like pseudo unblockability, like we should be okay, especially where Rot Wolf has an extra point of power. I can't see why I would want to block here. Because Rot Wolf plus Vines is uh is pretty alright here. Pretty dece. Pretty dece here. So two mana for our opponent. There's Burning Tree. Well, that's not good. That's a lot of blockers. But that many blockers we don't really care about. Because we can always give this pro green. Yep. And Nest Invader. Oh, dang it. <laughs> they got it. They found the out. Yep. That's unfortunate. But I guess this will continue drawing cards. Like, we'll get to trade it with their creatures while we draw cards. I don't really get this here, but I am going to block with Rot Wolf. I guess they probably have. That was weird. And sweet for me. Absolutely. Draw land. Not trivial here. Pretty sweet Rot Wolf there. All right, our turn. Icker Claw Mirror. Well, I don't think there's any universe where we don't attack with Rot Wolf here. I think they're just going to block with the with the Scion, but... Yeah, so let's go to combat. If we can save Rot Wolf, we will. But I don't think they're going to let any of these creatures die to Rot Wolf. We're also at 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we should probably even leave Vines up to uh, to defend us here, even though we can like Blight Mamba or Icar Claw Mirror. They're going to block Blight Mamba. Going to block Rot Wolf. Oh, we're real close, guys. We're real close. That's five infect damage. Oh, God. <laughs> That's really close. Okay, so we're not going to pump here. We're going to play another blocker. I think we're going to regenerate. I want to leave up vines, too. I don't know if one blocker is good enough. They can swing back for five. They would need a pretty good number of pump spells to kill us. Just regen? Yeah, I think that's okay. Regen and play Icar Claw Mirror. Well, or leave up. Yeah, we can just leave up Vines. All right, they take one Infect. <laughs> What's up, G Panta? How you doing? Welcome to the Janku Banku. I hope you're enjoying yourself here tonight. All right, opponent, one Infect counter on their Nest Invader. And like I said, I think we have to leave up Vines here, and we don't have any one mana. Uh, how, can, how can they win around the blocker? Even with two mana, even with two mana, how could they win with us having a blocker on board? They have four, they have five damage on board. They would need to, like, kick a Vines and have a Mutagenic Growth plus Land Drop. Like, I just don't think they can do that. I'm playing Icar Claw Mirror. If this is the wrong decision, then so be it. I'm playing Icar Claw Mirror. Awesome, yeah. We are trying to infect the metagame out here. Doing our darndest. We'll see what my opponent's attacks look like. There's a Nest Invader. Okay, so our Apostle's Blessing trick isn't gonna isn't gonna work next turn. But well, we can just we can just Apostles Blessing a Blight Mamba, I'm pretty sure, and we'll be okay. Wow, okay. Opponent's gonna swing for five. There's no way. Yeah, no, we're good. We can take five here. Sure. They can't deal five extra damage. I think so. Right? Yeah, because they can't block all of our creatures and we just have to resolve a vines on something. Cool. 
There's Groundswell as well. All right, we'll go to combat. Swing with everything. No Apostle's Blessing required. I guess I could cast like Mutagenic Growth and untap this, but we just need one unblocked creature here. Sure. Sure. All right, Kick of Vines. On Blight Mamba because it can regenerate. We also have protection up. I'm just going to make sure I kick this. Because <laughs> this matters. Did we get him? That's five infect damage. We're dead if this doesn't work. There's no free fogs or anything. Got him? Ah, uh, this is way too slow. Way, way, way too slow. Nah. This doesn't have any creatures. <laughs> but it does have three rankers. <laughs> oh, I almost feel like I have to keep this. Does a four look at, does any four look better than this? Or any five yeah, fives could look better than this. I'm gonna go to five. Alright, alright, alright. I can keep this. I can keep this. We get it, we get it, we're on the draw. We get another look. Groundswell. We don't have another land. So we'll put groundswell on the bottom. Opponents start him with Colony Garden. Could be the mirror. Could be the mirror. Let's find out. <laughs> well, we found our land. That's good. So we'll probe our opponent. See if they have a kill next turn. Ooh. Boggles. Got it. All right. Well, they're not Solana ledge walkering next turn. They are rankering up a plant. <laughs> for what that's worth. We draw a seal of strength. So we'll play a Lanawar Augur. It's a pretty good blocker for rankered up plant token. I'm also pretty okay with uh, Blight Mambas to kill unevasive stuff like Ledge Walker, but I don't think we'll have that opportunity. Eight Rack? Oh, how did that lead go? No Leyline inside. Well, that's what you gotta get them, man. They got no hate. The no hate special. Why wouldn't you rank her there? Gut shot, I guess? Because I can block. There's no real reason to rank her. Um, Alright, we're just going to play Blight Mamba. And then... No Trample, unfortunately, but because Blight Mamba... Oh, no, we do have Trample. Holy crap, like, how close are we to winning? <laughs> we draw a land, can we win? Seal, six, seven... Yeah, <laughs> we can... If we draw a land... We can win. But I don't think we're going to draw a land, so... <laughs> This is our only way to give a creature trample, so we can't really blow it hoping. We kind of want to know that it's going to happen. You went 2-0. All right, there's the ledge walker. So, 6. Yeah, we'd be attacking for 11. They, if they blocked with both, it still wouldn't win. So, I don't think it's... Uh, don't think it's worth going all in on. They also have the cartouche of strength to be wary of. Sure. Icker Claw Mirror. Well, I am going to attack. And then I'm going to leave up Kicked Vines, because if they play Cartouche of Strength and fight it, then... Yeah, sure. I think they're going to try to Cartouche of Strength our Infect creature next turn, and we'll be able to Kick Vines kill the ledge walker and then we should be in the clear for some winning next turn we could also just regenerate it i guess but an opportunity to kill a hexproof creature with an aura on it is a pretty big game so oh wait they get to decide whether they're gonna fight or not don't they armadillo cloak doesn't matter okay yeah opponent attacks for three so now it won't die to Blight Mamba. Guys, I think we gotta hope for a land here. I really do think we gotta hope for a land. I think we're gonna crack Lanawar Augur here. Because we're we're dead so soon. Come on, land. Land! Mm. <laughs> Alright, go to combat. Attack with Blight Mamba. 
And we're out of trample, so we got to try to go wide here, which is pretty awkward. Especially where our opponent can potentially blow us out with something. So we'll play Seal Strength. We got Glistener Elf on board. We have Blight Mamba on board. They, maybe they just won't attack next turn. But any creature with a Kicked Vines on it wins us the game. So if they if they do choose to attack. Ranker and Cartouche are cards that they have in hand. Yep. Hmm. These do deal damage in minus one, minus one counters. I might be able to kill this. They can choose whether they want to fight it or not, though, so I'm going to let it go. Yep. Opponent gains a lot of life. Will you attack? Oh, they're just going to play a boggle. Okay. Oh, we don't have any trample, so that's awkward. Here they come. Maybe that was our opportunity right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Our turn. We're at 12. Land is okay. Would have been pretty great a few turns ago. So we're going to go to combat. We're going to attack with Glistener Elf. I don't know if they're going to block or not. If they don't block, yeah, they're going to block. Okay, so I'm going to sack Seal of Strength here so that we can play Icker Claw Mirror. But I don't know... Don't know how much of a chance we have. Or maybe I should have traded there. I'm not sure. I think having two creatures with Kicked Vines next turn is a good thing. Mm-hmm. So Ranker Unknown is their hand. There's Ranker. Let's hope they don't have another creature. Also, I think Ancestral Mass just kills us. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. All right. So do we win next turn? We go to one. One, two. I think we win. Oh, there's mutagenic growth. Okay. Go to combat. Swing. And I'm just going to do this now so I don't like F6, F6 by mistake or something. Uh, all right. So vines with kicker. That's six infect damage. Maybe we don't want to show them mutagenic growth. If we don't have to, this wins us the game. They're empty handed. There's no way for them to untap their creature. We just win. Right? <laughs> game sweet i was just going to comment on how awkward the 10 infect damage thing looks up there but whoops <laughs> when you when you lost so hard in your first two matches that you just like put it <laughs> get the wrong thing uh does this kill enchantments it does okay so some nature's claims wouldn't go astray um i don't think we have to worry about giving our creatures unblockable dies to the infection isn't that just the way man our creatures aren't gonna die when we want them to for that and <laughs> get up come on get down i think apostles blessings are probably what comes out because we're going to we're gonna hate out their enchantments well enough that their creatures shouldn't be able to block ours not cool enough i think that's what comes out i don't know what else would come out i guess Fog could be good. You're right. Fog could be good. I guess they have like rankers and stuff like that. I'm trying to think. These hit like ethereal armor and ancestral mask that we care about. I just don't know what else I'd like to cut. Because I think we have to go fast too, unfortunately. Hey, what's up, Dizzle Storm? How you doing? Uh, I guess one Rot Wolf. Yeah, I could cut one Probe, probably. I like Probe a lot, though. I like that this lets me keep one Landers with all those two mana infect creatures. Yeah, I think I'm okay with cutting a Rot Wolf. Yeah. I, it, it'd be sweet if, like, everything goes right, but I don't think you can give Boggles enough time to allow everything to go right. <laughs> yes, Al, absolutely. 100% would probe again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you just lost to Boggles too? Oh my goodness, Maverick Girl. We better not run into each other in round five. <laughs> Thanks for the subs tonight, by the way, guys. I really appreciate that. Oh, this is a Sneep right here. All right, opponent. Do you have a turn one Boggle? No turn one Boggle for our opponent. We will turn one Gitaxian Probe you. I guess Gitaxian Probe isn't as relevant in this matchup, but it could inform our turn two play. They're going to play two Boggles, but they don't have any anything to make them that big. So I think Icar Claw Mirror is actually a lot more relevant here than anything else. So, yeah, so I'm glad I saw that. So we'll go ahead and grab Prowler's Hand. <laughs> it was interesting, man. It was a cool match. And I don't know if I want to lead on Augur here or not. Based on their hand, I don't think it really matters. But we'll play Glistener Elf. They might trade it with one of their Boggles, which could be relevant later. Um, because I think once we start attacking with Ichorclaw Mirrors, then... Especially with their hand. I think, like, I think Augur's okay. I guess we won't have time to cast it anytime soon. That was weird. So we're going to see two Boggles here. Boggle. Oh, on red. That's interesting. Okay, two boggles. You got it. Yeah, Icar Claw with Rancor is ideal. Mutagenic Growth here would be sweet. No Mutagenic Growth, but we will play a land. Go to combat with Glistener Elf. Yeah, this is this is some spice right here. They are gonna trade, okay. And we'll play Icar Claw Mirror. Oh, we're in damage. Don't float that mana in damage step. <laughs> uh for oh yeah 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 no good call so our opponent has their hand is blossoming sands uh unknown right now so they're hoping to top deck but next turn we'll get down lanawar auger ranker if we draw a land i'll think about possibly not doing that all right blossoming sands and now i don't know anything that's in their hand Three mana, just an Ancestral Mask, not a big deal. Well, I guess it's like, it's not fantabulous, but we do have uh, enchantment removal and that would really blow them out. Let's find out what we found. Vines. I think we have to hope they don't have another Ancestral Mask and then like try to win the game next turn. So go like Ranker, Lanawar Augur, um, that's 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 2 if they do block. So I actually think that's what we got to do instead of playing another Icar Claw Mirror. So we'll rank her it up, play Lanawar Augur, attack, and hope they don't have another Ancestral Mask. There isn't really, I think this is just the best way to play around it. We lose to it anyway, pretty much regardless of what we do. Yes, they will. They super duper will. <laughs> Especially because we can block with Augur if we have to. Can we still win if we block with Augur here, though? Just another Boggle. Okay, that doesn't really matter. One card in my opponent's hand. What instant speed spell could I be worried about? Like, what instant speed spell? Okay, sick. That is good news. Okay, so upkeep. We are going to... Plus three, plus three, or Icar Claw Mirror. Draw for turn. Lanawar Augur. All right, so we're going to go to combat, especially because Ichorclaw Mirror is going to just survive anyway. I don't think it's relevant. Yep, so it's going to get plus two, plus two. I wonder if I want a Vines here. I definitely do. So I'm going to kick a Vines here. Yeah. And that'll get in for three more infect damage. That leaves him pretty close to dead. Five more infect damage, excuse me. <laughs> and their boggle dies, the boggle with the ancestral mask, that's relevant. They're at eight infect damage. This is a trampler. I don't know, man. It's feeling pretty good. Don't get too excited. Hey, we got him. <laughs> We're playing the Maverick Girl. I wonder what she's on. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits, PJMC Snooty. We're going to get it. 
we're gonna we're gonna need to get lucky here to uh to beat the maverick girl <laughs> i highly doubt i highly doubt she would ever stream snipe <laughs> Yeah, and it's and you know what, Maverick Girl, if you gotta, I don't care, whatever. I don't think she ever would, but we tight. She's got cred, man. All right, let's see if we can get Taxi and Probe into another untap land. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any chance in the universe she'd stream snipe. Uh, okay, turn off auto yields again. Nothing more embarrassing than uh, than passing turn one. All right, so let's have a look. Ooh, kept a no lander. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Just give me a chance. <laughs> I think she knows that like a a Thraven Inspector can do the trick sometimes. We draw a Nicker Claw Mirror, so we'll play a tap land. Pass the turn, not a whole lot of trample in the deck. <laughs> Thank you, Lobert, for the tap land heads up. Oh, there's a tap land. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, one lander. All right. Turn comes back to us. No removal to speak of. Prismatic Strands is relevant. We got a couple of Ickerclaw Mirrors. I think we're going to start playing... Oh, maybe we should play Blight Mamba. Because we can leave up the Regenerate next turn if we're not going to combo off. And we don't think it's important to play another Ickerclaw Mirror. But no, Ickerclaw Mirror can attack through Thraven Inspector if, uh, if they don't find another land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Daggers. Here comes the Thraby Baby. Ooh, Alchemist file. Okay. Chances improving. Come on, land. Land doesn't even get us there, does it? Well, we can give it plus eight plus eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll make our land drop. We'll go to combat. Attack. And you know what? Maybe I should have gone like wider there. And we'll give it plus eight plus eight. Groundswell, the mirror. Groundswell, the mirror. Turn off auto yields because I want to play this Lanoir Augur. They're at one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had the turn three kill. Ah, oh, they're going to journey the mirror. Bummer. They found it. What if we give Lanoir Augur? Oh, they're finding their land drops too. So they've only played Alchemist Vial that we know about. Let the grinding continue. All right, well, we're going to play a couple creatures here. They can only fog one with Alchemist Vial, and I assume they'll fog the one that we pump up with Lanoir Augur. And they have to leave one mana up to do that. So, you know what? Like... I guess Galvanic Blast is kind of a blow, but we haven't seen Galvanic Blast yet. I suppose they have drawn a lot of cards. No land. Ah! All right, they've got Prismatic Strands. Well, Prismatic Strands can't uh, fog Ickerclaw Mirror. They'll have to have Strands Green and fog Ickerclaw Mirror, I guess. Because Strands can't get Ickerclaw Mirror. So even Thraven Inspector Prismatic Strands doesn't do it here. It's going to have to be Strands. Okay. Oh, I wonder what they have. They could have Galvanic Blast. So they could be playing into me thinking I have... Yeah, well, we're going to do it. We're going to try. Go through. And Strands doesn't work on Mirror. So did we get it? Please? <laughs> oh no, I guess they uh they can alchemist vial. They can alchemist vial plus strands. No, they can't. They can't alchemist vial plus strands. We got them. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> they could have alchemist vial. But <laughs> Infectious beats coming through. Uh, nature's claim for sure. I think that's it. So I think this is definitely a nature's claim matchup. But that would be it. And I think nature's claim will come in. Apostle's blessing is definitely important for a few reasons. I don't know that mutagenic growth is that important actually. Probably go down one. 
I think I might just go down the seals again. I'm not really a huge fan of the seals. Rob Wolf will just get eaten by removal, but we need a lot of creatures to fight through this one. Um, Blight Mamas are great. Vines are great. I'm not a huge fan of the hungers. I'll take that out. I think you can play around hunger well enough. Ranker is even a little sketchier against this deck, I guess. But uh, I'll take it one seal. I wouldn't be opposed to losing a Rot Wolf here. Those ground swells proved to be pretty nuts there. Seal is a way you can win on turn two, though. Because you can go like seal on turn, or Glistener Elf, Seal of Strength, Ground Swell, Mutagenic Growth. Which you might have to do. It doesn't give trample either, though. I think I think I'm okay with going down these. <laughs> uh, the I don't know, guys. I don't know. This seems bad. We don't have an infect creature. I don't think we want to do that. Oh, oh, no, thank you, Alfastos. I, uh, I actually wasn't aware that my Strakonst was out of date. Do I mulligan this? I mulligan this, right? How big is this plant? <laughs> we can attack with a... <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> a nine, nine plant next turn. We're mulliganing? Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is a bad matchup. Okay, so we're we're thinking about like mono electricaries too. It's <laughs> so good that it's not a deck. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there are like no fours that are better than this, right? Not a one. Opponents on seven. Oh, we should have kept our opener. We get another look. I'm going to keep keep a land on top. Still no infect creatures, but we might draw one. We have some ways to protect it. We have a way to, we have ways to win quickly. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Probe the Maverick girl. All right, gang. All right, she's got the opener. She's got the opener with electricery. That can't be a good sign. So I think playing around electricery involves Oh yeah. Yeah, no. Max max punishment indeed. So I'm just going to preserve mana here by playing Seal of Strength. That also does help us out with electricery for a second, so we'll do that. And yeah, keep uh keep hoping. <laughs> keep on the Dusty Springfield plan. <laughs> Another tap land, okay. They do have just electricery up, so little do they know, we have to draw land before that matters. All right, play Acre Claw Mirror. They don't have a ton of ways to deal with it, so we'll play Mirror. Lots of ways to help us fade electricery right now. Not a ton of ways to win with it next turn, but we can beat electricery. We can also beat Galvanic Blast. We can't beat both. <laughs> yep. Yep. Getting ready to play some birds. Draw some cards. All right. There's a Prophetic Prism down. They're going to leave up Electricery. Okay. We draw Rot Wolf. <laughs> They have two core skyfishers in hand plus fourth land. <laughs> it's a pretty good way to to finish off the stream in general. So I think we're actually going to hold on to our pump spells defensively here. Although we won't have trample soon, so having yeah. It can attack into core skyfishers pretty fearlessly. So they're going to have to get rid of this Acre before they can put up a good fight. An apostle's blessing can protect it from their journey to nowheres. 
They might force the issue here. Gonna cycle the fourth land, so they must have found more. I wonder if they have gut shots as well. I imagine they've got a gut shot or two. So Prismatic Strands, two Skyfishers, and an Electricery are cards we know about. Two unknowns in hand. Ugh! Standard Bearer. Uh, that is a way for them to get around and Electricery our creature. So... Um... I think I'm going to mutagenic growth here, and I'll leave up my other two protection spells. I could just give it pro. I could try to give it pro red, but then they could galvanic blast it, and it'll die. So I'm just going to try to do what I can to play around electricery. Because we won't be able to do that in a second. <laughs> The heads up plays. All right, so all of our pump spells are hereby turned off. They have to have Galvanic Blast here, and they don't. Okay. Okay. Glistener Elf. All right, so we'll go to combat. We'll attack with the mirror. Yep. There's Electricery. Mm, I think we have to Blessing here. So we'll try to Apostle's Blessing on red. But they could also have Galvanic Blast, which is a bummer. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Hey, thanks for the host, Dusty Grift. Appreciate it, man. All right, so second main will run out Glistener Elf, albeit not a super useful one. And Strands, two Skyfishers is what the Maverick Girl's hand looks like. So we're going to have to start playing fast. This might become relevant. Especially because we're going to be trying to incentivize them to trade standard bearers. No, we can't even. So now that Skyfisher can block, we're in trouble. In a lot of trouble. Yep, going to cantrip. I don't really know how we can get out of this mess now. I think we're in... Ugh, more ground swells. Okay, pass the turn. Yep. Raw Wolf isn't a bad way out. I guess, like, at least it makes this small enough that Glistener Elf can start attacking in to trade with either of these. But they could just end up finding a removal spell for Glistener Elf. So Prismatic Strands, Core Skyfisher in hand. I think another Skyfisher is going to come down. Three unknowns. Uh, actually, yeah, no, we didn't know about that. Yep. And pretty obvious play here. They're going to play another Skyfisher this turn. Oh, man. Standard bearers. So maybe some number of gut shots should have come in. Um, but that's hard to... That's a little bit of a next level. I guess we could anticipate standard bearer. Ah, come on, land. Well, Icar Call Mirror is not the end of the world. It means we can start attacking at least. Um, we can trade with one of these Skyfishers and put a minus one, minus one counter on the other. But we would still love to get down Rot Wolf. <laughs> More creatures that trade with Swirling Sandstorm and Electricery aren't cool. Uh, Alright, that's we should almost scoop to preserve time <laughs> at this point. I think so. I think like Gutshot isn't awful. Not awful enough. And it could help with Trample Damage. I, I guess it's not always completely dead. All right, mulliganing, mulliganing to four or five against the monarch deck. Not ideal. We find a land for Rot Wolf. That's that's a start. So we'll Rot Wolf pass the turn. Trade with a Skyfisher that isn't gonna die. <laughs> Getting on a block and then uh, giving it like Apostle's Blessing at instant speed is kind of a good play, but. Yeah, I think we're just going to lose to the standard bearer. And they have, like, so many Galvanic Blasts we haven't seen, so... Yep. All right. So we'll give them one more turn. Maybe we'll see a little bit more, but I don't think... 
nah. No reason to give up information. They're pretty, the deck list is pretty obvious to them. Cycle a Tranquil Thicket, have one more look. We are at four. Sacred Claw Mirror, and we're done. So I actually think it, it should be Epic Confrontations because I don't, I think two Epic Confrontations and one Gut Shot is fine enough. I don't want all of the Gut Shots. We do have to win fast though. We would have won that game if we had Gut Shot in hand, right? And maybe this many Nature's Claims isn't super important, but it probably, I think it's still probably good. Although, that's probably just too slow. I think that's for Affinity. I don't think, I think it's way too slow for Monarch. Yep, I think this is what it's going to look like, gang. I could be convinced to, like, take out one more thing. Like, take out one more seal for another Gunshot. Or maybe because we're on the play. Two gut shots, one confrontation. I wouldn't be super unhappy with two and two. Okay. So we'll take out one more seal. I guess we are gonna go considerably slower, but we have we have more outs this time. Alright, we've got a gut shot, we've got some augers, we've got Icker Claw mirrors, we have protection. Ooh, yeah, Cop would be Cop would be a little dangerous. Icker Claw Mirror, pretty okay against that, though. We'll play Augur. I think we, and we won game one on a misplay, so it's like, that wasn't ideal either. And what do we do here? I guess we want to hedge for Thraven Inspector if they have another tap land. So we'll play Icker Claw Mirror. Pass the turn. And then we'll play Blight Mambo and we can start leaving up defense for it. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo! Alright, so the mirror is going to eat a journey. That is the proper removal for it. Our turn. We draw a Colony Garden. Not yet. We're not going to play it yet. We are going to play Blight Mamba. We have Gut Shot and Apostle's Blessing for the hosing. Too many Core Sky Fishers is going to be trouble, though. And let's see what the play is. Six cards in hand. We both kept our openers. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see a true battle of wits here. Thravy Baby. Kind of an issue, but not really. Only for the first turn it's around. And Galvanic Blast. So we will have to Apostle's Blessing here, unfortunately. On red... We can attack into Thraven Inspector like once or twice before it becomes an issue, but ugh, land, come on, deck. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rude? So we'll attack into Thraven Inspector and regenerate. Yep. So we can't pay. Oh, no, we've already regenerated once. It'll just make our attacks better in future turns. I'm gonna play untap land here just in case we have to regenerate again. And we'll pass. Journey is a massive blowout here. <laughs> but it is what it is. Just like more creatures are a problem. Prophetic Prism. Okay, that's not more creatures at least. But I think our hand is shaping up a little worse than theirs. Regenerate. Do they have another removal spell? Yikes. Okay. Well, at least Blight Mamba got to eat a few eat a few things in the meantime. What do we land? A deck. Please stop. <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> See what our opponents got. Core Skyfisher. Yep. Gonna reset the minus one minus one counter on Thraven Inspector. Oh no, they're just gonna cantrip straight away. Alright. Trying to find that uh, standard bearer. Two cards in hand. I guess they might be a little choked for interaction, but it can't be that bad. Land to stand on? There you go. Well, that's, yeah, that's a good expression. <laughs> the playing land kind of tilting a little bit here. Um, just for future regeneration of Blight Mambas, I guess. <laughs> I probably won't play the next one. We'll try to sandbag land a little bit. 
Maverick Girl going to start getting in. <laughs> My deck is drawing like Tron. I know, right? If only these were Ulamog's Crushers. Imagine. There are 19 lands, one of which is a cycling land, and we do have Gitaxian Probes to help us like cycle through, but chances of this Lana, or this Ikerclomere surviving are very slim. Very, very slim. But it can attack through what they've got going on right now. I guess I have three cards in hand. It's starting to get stale for you? I don't know. This isn't too bad. I Sometimes I don't mind just getting beaten to the dirt by Mono Blue Delver. <laughs> Core Sanctifiers. You what, mate? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't know, man. We've had even like a pretty diverse league here tonight. Boros Monarch, Boggles, Affinity, um, Mono Blue Delver, Stompy. Well, if we're going to find... A creature to survive, this would be the one. But I'm still going to hold on to this land, because you can only regenerate this twice anyway. Pass the turn! I guess that's actually kind of a reason to play a land. No journey. We're at 14. This is a Galvanic Blast deck, and Lightning Bolt deck. Yep. Here comes that fish. Er. Who's that fish? Er. And Glintock, gonna cantrip. Mm-hmm. Bird's gonna bird, man. This gut shot looking super bad here. <laughs> I think I like I still think I need one though. Like if they if they standard bear here, like we might have a chance from this board state. Not a good one, but we might have a chance. Um So I'm kind of okay having them. If they do land their standard bear. Yep. Uh, I guess I don't have to regenerate here, so I won't. They're going to chump with three, baby. Goes to the bin. We can regenerate three times. <laughs> three, baby. This card's pretty good against us. I think mid-range in general, just pretty good against us. Here come the Flyers. That face when Glinthawk can deal, like, gut shouting Glinthawk twice deals more damage than just letting it attack you. Yep. Our turn. We draw a heckin' land. <laughs> I think with two cards in hand, we're bluffing about as much as I want to be, so I'm okay playing another land here. Yeah, because you can regenerate Blight Mamba. No problem, Lobbert. Oh man, that would be pretty epic, considering this is definitely a close game in the meantime. They're going to cycle. It's actually not that close. They have no infect damage and a massive board. <laughs> I don't think we're bluffing by holding any more than two cards in hand, though. Especially where we haven't been firing off Augur. This will have to be the turn. If there's going to be a turn, this will have to be it. So we're going to... Augur, we're going to sack Lanawar Augur. <sighs> I think we just lose, gang. <laughs> I think that's game. And they've had a Strands in their hand all game as well. Yep. So there's literally zero outs in our deck here, but we're going to we're gonna go for it anyway. Oh, does that do it? No. Uh, it does it does fog this, but then they can just Oh wait. Well it's still not lethal by any means. But we're gonna do it because we're dead anyway. So Oh, they're not going to oh they're just gonna strands. Sure. <laughs> sure. Prismatic strands. <laughs> oh, I won't let me pay to. <laughs> All right, guys, this uh, this opener looks pretty good. 
this looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. We'll see if uh, Alpha Shadows... By the way, viewer matches, ghosting totally allowed. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I, I guess, like, we're Blade Mamba. Giving stuff trample is probably pretty important in that matchup. All right, Owl. I will see you very shortly. If I'm not there right away, I will be there shortly thereafter. All right, let's have a look at what Alpha Shadows got going on over here. Hopefully it's not Mono Blue Delver. They beat us into the dirt last time. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, is this uh, is this Canadian Threshold? Man, I love that deck. That's a cool deck. It's kind of like a... Uh, maybe we should hold the Gitaxian Probe for next turn. We're going to play a tap land while we've got time. I guess we could have gone looking for... Um, could have gone looking for a one drop there, but if we find it next turn, we can protect it all the same. Yeah, I think Reed had a an Elves video recently where that was the case as well. He was playing against another, like, just really fast deck. Um, all right, so our opponent is probably going to want to try to kill this. So we're gonna we're actually gonna do this. We're gonna go looking for a mutagenic growth. Or a one drop rather, so that we can protect it with this. All right, so they're probably going to fetch red mana here. They have two interactive spells. I guess it kind of does. Maybe this isn't threshold. Just lands. Okay. So we're going to have to interact with them somehow. We'll play Blade Mamba. Pass the turn. That's a strong plant. Beefy Fido. They're going to go fetching. And I imagine they're going to Vapor Snag this here. And if they do, if that's the case, then they get to leave up counter magic next turn, which is pretty awkward considering Rot Wolf and that Rune Snag gets better as time goes on. Yep, they're just going to bolt straight away, leave up Vapor Snag, no Rune Snag, unless they drew land here. So we're going to play a land. Man, we are... <laughs> I'm okay with them Vapor Snagging this here. Um, I don't think... I think if they're going to be leaving up rune snag next turn i kind of like be okay with that hopefully we draw some more action <laughs> because this is a storm this is a not storm this is a landfall deck <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right oh yeah sniping tool yeah it's uh snipping snipping tool yeah yeah man it uh it works pretty dang well with uh with ye old ooh Fancy. Okay, so we'll play a land, go to combat, attack with Rot Wolf. See if there's any snags coming. All right, so I will ground swell here. I guess they have. How much can we pay for? How much do you have to pay for Rune Snag? Two, I think. I keep trying to like zoom in on the cards that I have. <laughs> I really don't want them to be able to bounce this Rot Wolf, but we got to try to force damage through somehow. So we'll see if that's reason enough for them to snap anything off here. All right, that's that's good enough for now. And we'll see what their play is. They're just going to take six Infect here. We'll play Lanawar Augur. And we won't pay for the Rune Snag if they cast it, given that we have Vines. Sure. Nah. So they're going to have an even better rune snag next turn, but that's okay because this rot wolf only has to get in a couple more times. <laughs> a 22 edicts. <laughs> you know me so well, Terry. Ooh, that's fancy. All right, so they can counter our vines just straight up. So I don't think I don't think that's the play. We will play a land for the blight mambas and the lightning bolts later. Attack with rot wolf. And put them down to one in terms of infect damage. Lots of protection aside. And we just need Rot Wolf to uh, stick around. I think we're going to get him. Edicts make me nervous. Ooh. Opponent going to brainstorm. And we won. Sweet. Okay. So we're playing against the Lightning Bolt rune snag deck so i think we're pretty tooled to just get off the ground fast and try to win oh my goodness can you imagine i kind of loved uh jeskai control for all of that stuff i lost in the pappy popper tournament to 
420 dragon um with uh and they were on esper familiars and i lost the jeskai control which can be expected i kind of thought i should bring like affinity or something they're also very good at that deck i've never played against them before and uh and it was like watching art play out all right all right oh usa's in usa's in man we all here we're out here this is a this is a group effort oh this is a pretty good hand this is a really good hand actually so we are going to keep we got to redraw we have Turn one Lanawar Augur. I think we're gonna go turn two Glistener Elf um, with Apostles Blessing back up, and then we can play Blight Mambas, etc. But we will have a look at their hand and then make that decision later. Delver isn't fantastic for us. If they don't have any target removal, I might just run out Glistener Elf. I think it's almost worth the risk. So play a land. Which maybe that was supposed to be a tap land, but we have three lands, so. All right, so no no land. If they play their land next turn, it's pretty awkward. So I think we actually, where they don't have that much interaction, we are actually going to run out our one drop here. We have several high quality two drops to follow it up with. So pass the turn. If they do leave counter magic up next turn, I think I'm still, if they don't flip Delver, it's probably a land. Yeah, 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 hey, hey, hey. We should, uh, we should do the friend request exchange. No attacks from our opponent. How is the is the size on the cards right? Oh, we should auto size cards. I think that's the that's the idea. Man, you went two three on mono edicts. That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. All right, our turn. Opponent on no land. So I think it's time to get Ickerclaw Mirror down here. Um, Maybe we will trade with this Delver. I guess any blocker is kind of a problem. Mm. Yeah, I think... But then if they have removal magic... This is tough. <laughs> Friggin' mana screw. <laughs> it is unfortunate. This is tough. I think I think we are going to attack here because they're kind of low on interaction, and I think if we get Ickerclaw Mirror out, we could soon be able to like we just got to fade removal one time. Oh, they're not gonna. Okay, all right, all right. I'm down with that. So we'll play Ickerclaw Mirror. Pass the turn. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> have to get a yeah. You'll have to get a Justice or two. Did you say? I think you said you were running Justices, right? Oh yeah, Elves is a terrible Edicts matchup. I hear you, man. So they got the Rune Snag back up this turn. Good to know. Uh, let's try to bait out that Rune Snag with a Lanawar Augur. And it doesn't happen. Now we can't really play around it. So I think... I think we're just going to swing with Ickerclaw Mirror. If they want to block with Delver, then that's all good. No blocks. They are going to block. Okay, so this gets pumped up. We're not going to give it protection or anything like that. I think we're just going to pass the turn. We're going to protect our creatures from removal in the face of... Uh, okay. I guess it did let them brainstorm there. Wait a minute. Is Does Gataxian Probe... Reveal cards properly now? That's interesting. Oh, the old Koldoth of Boros tokens. That Carves was on for a little while. The really aggressive version. I guess we get a Blight Mamad there. But I'm okay protecting our onboard creature from removal. And I think we might sack Augur next turn. Like, I just don't know when we'll have enough mana to combo off in the face of these counter spells. Let's see what they do with the Ponder. Give me one sec, guys. I'm going to unlock my door. <laughs> We're out here. We're out here. We're still here. <laughs> okay. 
Opponent, just going to pass the turn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect reels cards incorrectly. Oh. <laughs> um, I think we might as well go for this here, because I think we are going to try to cast a Blight Mamba through the um, Rune Snag. And so if they, yeah, so they decided to do this. So we can go Apostle's Blessing, Pay Life, and one. And so now we can still, we'll get in for a bunch of Infect and we'll get to Resolve Blight Mamba. Oh, is this Dispel? Gosh, okay. Looking for a Dispel. Red. So we got a 4-4 four, four Trampler on our hands. And what do we draw? Not a land. Okay. Get another look. Mana leak. God. And some creatures to get in the way. Well, that's an issue. Ooh. Okay, so we'll cast Ranker on Glistener Elf. Because our opponent's going to have counter magic next turn. And we're pretty close here, guys. No removal for this stuff once it's on board. Go to combat. Attack with a 6-4 Trampler. We're so close! <laughs> They're at 7 Infect. And they can't cast any of these green spells. They can leave up Mana Leak, but I think we got them. Man, 3-color Mana bases. Pretty unforgiving. And I think we're going to see it here. Come on, go for the 3-3 three, three in the viewer matches. 